Baroness Campbell admits England could be playing at bigger venues at Euro 2022. Baroness Sue Campbell has conceded that the Football Association could have chosen bigger venues for England's Euro 2022 campaign after the host's three group matches sold out by 20 April. Yes, that might be a learning that we'd have to look at, the FA head of women's football said, when asked if England should be playing at Wembley or stadiums closer to that capacity. I don't want to sit here and say we think we've done it all right, because we can always learn from these things, but equally we also want a geographic spread," Campbell said. Yes, we could have done it differently I guess, but I think the most important thing for us is three full stadiums for England. England opened the Euros at Old Trafford on 6 July, which has a capacity of 73,200, before playing their second and third group games at St Mary's in Southampton and the Amex Stadium in Brighton, venues that can accommodate 32,505 and 31,800 supporters respectively. We've sold 450,000 tickets which is pretty much double what they sold in the Netherlands UEFA Women's Euro 2017, Campbell said. The capacity put together in all of the stadiums is 725,000, probably in the end we will sell over a quarter of a million, maybe a little more. So there is still capacity there. So it's how you balance the England games which everybody wants to go to, with the reality that the other matches, however good they are, are not going to attract a full audience. So, did we get the balance right? We will look at it again, but you've got a big stadium opening it, you've got a big stadium closing it off, we think we've got the balance about right. The FA's head of tournament delivery, Chris Bryant, also defended the decision to host games at Lee Sports Village and Manchester City's Academy Stadium, where the standing terraces behind the goals cannot be used due to UEFA regulations meaning the capacity in both grounds will be significantly reduced. Standing isn't allowed in the UEFA tournament requirements, Bryant said. We are looking to cover those areas, so you won't see them as empty areas. That's a tournament requirement, we need to respect that, and we were aware of that when making the choice of the stadium as well. We'll do the best we can in terms of look and feel, but that's the situation we're in. It's not something that's gone unnoticed, but it's a tournament requirement that we need to follow.